Welcome to the Ambient Assisted Living Forum in Bucharest. 2014 is an important year, as our first joint program ends and its successor comes to life. We have achieved a lot. Six years ago, this was just an empty green field waiting to be explored. Now our efforts are bearing fruit. We are delivering for millions of elderly Europeans. And Europe is setting a global agenda with the largest community of its kind in the world, in an international market worth billions. These innovations can make a, f a real difference to the lives of so many. IDs like Yom, a double camera system that lets you chat, connect and interact with distant friends and professionals, or CapMouse, a headset that lets you control your computer just by moving your tongue, a great help for those with difficulties moving. In fact, with over 100 projects and significant involvement from both smaller businesses and users, we have critical mass. We are bringing the right people together to fix real problems. We are delivering actual products and services onto the market. Because the point is not just to have IDs, it's to make them scale onto a larger market fast. That's the way to attract investment and make IDs a reality. Over the last few years, we have been working hard to make this happen with the EU governments, regions and industry. We are seeing results and that will continue under our future funding program Horizon 2020. Our European Innovation Partnership on Active and Healthy Aging has created a platform for thousands of interested stakeholders, all of whom can benefit from the solutions you are developing. Plus, the new knowledge and innovation community created by the European Institute of Technology will support more European entrepreneurship in this area. So, the future is bright. Here's how to make it even better. First, later this month, many will be gathering in Brussels to discuss how to support the silver economy. I hope you will be there to give your input. And second, I hope the next AAL program can benefit from feedback, matching up to users' needs at every stage of the innovation process. And third, I hope yet more agile funding can get products faster to market. Most of all, there is an opportunity for even more engagement there. Many EU countries have committed, and I thank you all. With Canada and Turkey interested, this go and could go international. And there's scope for still more countries to get involved, like the Western Balkans, Central and Eastern Europe. So I hope you will be ambassadors, promoting this opportunity to colleagues and governments. The dream is to help older people live more actively and independently, to offer more sustainable health and care, to create a globally competitive industry that creates jobs here in Europe. And that is a goal I hope we can achieve working together. I wish you best of luck in your discussions.